Meghan Markle is back in the headlines once again. She wishes Prince Harry could let go of all these lawsuits and just live in the moment, whatever that means. And this comes as Prince Harry continues to his appeal against the High Court decision about his security after losing several rounds of the case against the Home Office. And joining me now is the former Royal Correspondent at The Sun, the one-man legend, Charles Ray. Charles, always an absolute delight to have you on the show. Hold the front page. Meghan Markle has said something sensible. Uh, well, it appears to be sensible, uh, and it comes from the celebrity magazine that revealed uh, about two years ago that uh, her five friends spoke out on her behalf. So there appears to be some tr truth. They've, they've interviewed someone who used to work for Marco and Prince Harry, and they're saying that she wants Harry to put aside these various court cases. Now, I'm not sure whether she's talking about all the court cases or whether she's just talking about the one where he is pursuing um, this claim of his that he wants police protection uh, when he and Meghan if Meghan ever comes back to the UK again, and that'll be taxpayer funded. And there's an astonishing other story here as well out today, Charles, about Harry and Charles's deepening rift. Insiders close to the prince claiming that the king no longer answers his calls. And again, this is all over this ongoing security battle. Yeah, you're right, Martin. And it seems that Harry has got the mistaken belief, and he should know better than, than this. He's got the mistaken belief that the king can actually do something with, uh, with the committee. This That's the royal and VIP executive committee. Now, they are the ones who decide who gets royal protection and who doesn't. And obviously, Harry falls in the second uh, category. Now, the king is not a member of that committee, although there is a member of the household who does sit on the committee. But they don't have any power to say, yeah, he gets the he gets it. No, he doesn't get it. So I don't know why, why Harry seems to be just barking up wrong trees all the time. You'd have thought that given he saw his dad in February, that he'd be trying to concentrate more in, in bridging the rift. But he seems to be pushing it further and further uh, away. Uh, it is astonishing the way he's carrying on. Yeah, and there's no end to it inside. But do you think there's any chance that Harry will drop these lawsuits? He seems addicted to them. Well, no, I don't think there's any chance. Uh, I, I think it's now an obsession with him. He, he's got uh, various lawsuits going on. He's got this one going on uh, over his protection, and he's got two cases that are due up uh, in um, uh, the new year against the Sun and separately the male groups uh, over the phone hacking scenario. And I'm not suggesting he should drop those. If he feels he's got uh, a problem with that, then he should pursue it. But, I mean, clearly he's spending a lot of time talking to lawyers about various matters. And I think Megan would rather... We would think it would be better for Harry's mental health. He's always cracking on about his mental health if he if he were to sort of push back a little bit on these sort of things. OK, Charles Ray, always a pleasure and never a chore. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining us on GB News as ever.